Hi, this is Pularja Jyotar. Now we are going to discuss on interview questions and answers on S4 HANA. So this is the question. What is SAP HANA? Means SAP HANA is a high performance business analytical application tool and supports an in-memory computing engine. SAP HANA is a type of ERP functional module which contains a front-end modeling studio that can be used for server management application developments and load controlling methods. Now we go to the next question. Why is SAP HANA a unique model? SAP HANA is considered as a unique ERP tool in many possible ways. The reasons are as follows. SAP HANA is the first ever technology used for handling both OLTP and OLAP application processing methods. SAP HANA supports the query processing environment for both structured and unstructured data sets. This can be used in relational database tables and structured data sets. This tool contains a multi-core process engine used to process the data sets parallelly. The parallel process can be done using different columns of the same database tables. Using a column database set, this tool optimizes the different data structures and very easy to store large amounts of compressed data sets. Now we go to next question. Mention the two types of relational data stored in SAP HANA. The two types of relational data stored in SAP HANA are row store and column store. So there are two relational data stores. One is row store and another one is column store. What is role of persistence layer in the SAP HANA model? The SAP HANA ERP tool contains an in-memory management engine that helps the user to access the data directly without any backups. The persistence layer avoids the risk of losing important data in case of any sudden power cutoff or hardware failure. This layer is also called as savior because it stores all the important data sets in the hardware without causing any problem of accuracy. We go to next question. Mention the components used in SAP HANA technology. SAP HANA is nothing but a collection of four tools and technologies. So there are four components that are available, which collectively make the SAP HANA technology, such as SAP HANA DB means database sets, SAP HANA studio, SAP HANA application cloud. And the last one is SAP HANA appliances. Now, we go to next question. Name the platforms which support SAP HANA. SAP HANA supports the following various platforms. Microsoft Windows Vista versions 7, 8 servers 2008. Microsoft Windows operating system version 7, 8, 10 servers 2008 R2. SUCE Linux operating server. Version level, memory 64 bits. Red Hat Enterprise Server, version 6. Mac Operating System, OS X, Mavericks version 10.9. <clears throat> now we go to the next question. What is the modeling studio in SAP HANA? The modeling studio is a building block of SAP HANA technology, which performs the operations like helps to declare which table can store the data in HANA. Firstly, it will get the metadata and perform the data replication process, manages the data service task 
to add the data from SAP Business Warehouse and other application systems. This is continuation of that answer. Manages the ERP instance system connection. The current version of ERP software does not support this instant connection. Self modeling can be done and allows users to use data services. Offers essential licenses for SAP business operation data services. Now, next question. List the compression techniques of SAP HANA technology. There are three compression techniques available in SAP HANA technology, such as run length encoding, cluster encoding, dictionary encoding. Next question, what is latency? <clears throat> the latency in SAP HANA is referred to as the length of time taken to replicate the data from the multiple data sources to the target system. Next question, what are the different building blocks used in SAP HANA environment? The fundamental components of the SAP HANA environment include are in-memory computing engine, second one database, third one SAP business objects, B14, SAP HANA studio, fifth one clients, Next question, mention the role of replication server. The main function of the replication server is to manage the table data replication as well as table metadata from multiple data sources. Next question, list the architectural components used in SAP HANA. The SAP HANA architecture consists of different components that makes the system architecture, index system server, name service, name server system, pre-processor server system, SAP HANA model studio repository, last one, access engine system. Next question. Name the components of an index server. The following are the important components of the index server. Relational data engine. Connection and session manager. Planning engine system. Calc, C, calc engine system. Persistence layer. Next, we go to next. Explain sizing in SAP HANA. Sizing in SAP HANA defines the hardware requirements for a specific SAP HANA installation process. Hardware components are considered as important for sizing parts of system CPU memory or RAM and hard disk requirements. The very tough task here is that estimate the size of the SAP HANA server that will be best suited for the user's requirements. Sizing in SAP HANA can be performed in three ways using the quick sizer tool. Second one is using the DB script. Third one is using the ABAP report. Next, we go to another question. Define the rows and columns storage in SAP HANA. First, row storage. Row storage is a data storage method. Horizontally stores the data stores the data in a horizontal way. Users can store the data sets as a similar to disk databases. Row storage in SAP HANA can be stored in the main memory, whereas the traditional storage can be used to store the data in the disk databases. Now we go to next question. How can you avoid unnecessary information from being stored in SAP HANA? Users can avoid storing the unnecessary data being stored in SAP HANA just by passing the replication to stop the scheme-related jobs. 
now next question <clears throat> explain how sql statements can be processed in the sap hana database each sql statement can be implemented with the reference to the transaction frequently the new session can be allotted to the new sql transaction next question what are the different perspectives in sap hana studio the following are the some commonly used perspectives are as follows the sap hana administration console the sap hana modeler control application server server de development life cycle management in sap server sap hana development abap module development business warehouse modeling now next question define sap hana system monitor the sap hana monitor the studio can be used to perform tasks like administrating and monitor the system's performance and availability of sap hana architectural components also users can access the sap hana system details configurations and the services offered by different hana components sap hana system monitor can also be used to monitor several database aspects like alerts trace disk log disks data disk memory data volume and disk space etc next question what are the three types of information views so the following are the three types of information views first one is attribute view second one is analytic view third one is calculation view We'll go to next question what are the types of sap hana engines the following are the three types of sap hana engines such as join engine olap engine calculation engine we we'll go to next question mention the types of packages used in sap hana the packages in sap hana are nothing but folders which holds the modeling related database objects we call it a package because it contains all the information related to modeling studio in a complete package wise and later we can use it for transition purposes this information may be of type information view sub package details analytical privilege and procedures there are two types of packages used in sap hana are structural package and second one is non structural package so there are two types of packages one structural package second one non structural package we go to next question what are schemas in sap hana the schemas are a type of database element of the system which resides in the catalog node of the sap hana model the relational sap hana database can be divided into sub databases within sap hana modes schemas are like container that contains information like element details objects or relational database details we go to next question so differences between the olap per relation connection to sap hana now i will explain this first we go for relational relation connection relation connection can be used when there is a need to access the conventional database tables relational connections can be created via idt or udt semantic layers next we discuss about olap the olap connection is used to access multi dimensional data cubes and it also establishes the direct connection to the sap hana business layer of the database model to the relational connection these connections help users to connect to the database tables or information views in the sap hana we we'll go to next question define referential join in sap hana 
the referential join in sap hana is a default join type in data modeling this join is almost similar to an inner join the only difference is that referential integrity can be formed when you are using referential join otherwise it cannot be formed referential join can be formed between a fact table and a master data table next we go to next question what are the sap hana business objects reporting tools so the following are the sap hana business objects reporting tools sap lumina web intelligence third one is design studio fourth one is sap crystal reports fifth one is universe designers sixth one is dashboard designer next question difference between catalog and content note the first we discuss about catalog notes catalog note acts as a database directory for the sap hana model and also holds the structured information about the physical objects next this content note contains information about the design time repository data objects and also holds the packages such as attributes views calculation and analytical views next question mention the different ways to create a table in sap hana there are two possible ways to create a table in sap hana first one command line method next one gui based methods so there are two ways to create a table in sap hana first one is command command line method second one is gui gui based methods next question what are the types of connecting drivers used by sap hana reporting tools the sap hana uses the four types of connecting drivers such as odbo second one is odbc driver third one is jdbc driver fourth one is bics driver next question what is the transformation rule in the sap hana module a transformation rule is a rule which specifies the advanced replication level transactions for the source data table which is being transformed at the time of replication process we go to next question So next question is what are the main building blocks of S4 HANA? S4 HANA has three main building blocks: HANA platform or HANA database, SAP S4 HANA ERP systems run on this in-memory HANA database. It solves many problems faced by ERP. Second one is S4 HANA business suits, an updated version of SAP business suit seven, and has built-in technologies including AI, machine learning, and analytics. Third one. Fiery UI modern modern user interface built into SAP S4 HANA that provides consistent look and feel across all devices and ERP systems. It helps in both employee satisfaction and productivity. Next, we go to next question. what is an in memory database in memory databases rely on primarily on main memory instead of ssds or disks for data storage and to perform operations in memory databases provide minimal response time by eliminating the need of accessing the data from ssds in memory databases perform all the operations on main memory next question
what is sap hana explain the key benefits of an in memory database sap hana is an inter memory high performance column ori oriented relational database management system it processes the transactions with advanced analytics on multi modal data cloud and on premise we go to next question what are the features of sap hana sap hana offers a rich set of capabilities including first one database services it offers various database services to reduce data management burdens these services include database management database administration and database security second one multi modal processing sap hana provides the capabilities to process complex multiple data types such as documents graphs etc it processes it processes the transactions with advanced analytics and provides hybrid transactional and analytical processing next one is application development you can develop real time intelligent applications with built in development and runtime capabilities it offers simplified application architecture can use existing skills and programming languages support of various various tools like eclipse abap development tools etc next one is data virtualization it improves the data quality with built in data quality capabilities offers data federation data replication and integration capabilities sap hana offers a real time gateway to all your data across applications cloud and storage next question what does the name of sap s4 hana stand for sap s4 hana is the short form for sap business suite for sap hana it brings the next big wave of sap innovation to our customers similar to the transition from sap r2 to sap r3 sap s4 hana is a new product with a new code line next question what are the deployment options offered sap currently plans to offer on premise cloud and hybrid developments sorry deployments to give real chance to customers sap s4 hana also gives customers the option to fully leverage the new hana multi latency functionality multi tenancy functionality as provided by the s4 hana s4 hana platform for the cloud next question what is the business scope of the different editions the business scope of each edition was designed to offer maximum choice to customers in alignment with their business requirements sap s4 hana on premise edition already offers a business scope that is similar in terms of coverage functionality industries and languages as the current sap business suite within this scope SAP S4 HANA also includes transformational simplifications delivered with SAP Simple Finance, as well as a planned integration with success factors, Employee Central, and Ariba Network. Continuation. The on-premise edition is intended to offer a yearly. innovation cycle through simplification and innovation packages sap s4 hana public cloud edition should address specific business scenarios of lines of business and industries sap s4 hana managed cloud ed cloud edition should address a similar business scope as on premise edition the cloud editions are intended to offer a quarterly innovation cycle next question
how does sap s4 hana relate to sap simple finance followed by sap hana the sap simple finance solution marked the first step in our sap s4 hana road map for customers the solution has demonstrated the value of simplification and instant insight in finance sap s4 hana on premise edition leverages the full scope of sap accounting powered by sap hana included in sap simple finance SAP S4 HANA Managed Cloud Edition is intended to leverage the same scope. SAP S4 HANA Public Cloud Edition is planned to focus on a selected scope of SAP Simple Finance in alignment with the key requirements in finance. Next question. Which industry solutions will be available in SAP S4 HANA. SAP S4 HANA on premise edition supports current lines of business and industries. SAP S4 HANA public cloud edition will be released by business scenario for specific languages, lines of business and industries. The first industry available is currently planned to be the professional services industry. The scope will be determined in close cooperation with the SAP user groups based on customer requirements, professional services, chemicals, consumer products, industrial machinery and the components life sciences as well as transportation and logistics. Next question. How does SAP S4 HANA relate to SAP's existing portfolio of cloud solutions? SAP S4 HANA shall also be made available with public cloud and managed cloud editions. However, SAP S4 HANA will not replace our existing portfolio of line of business cloud solutions, it will integrate with and expand it. Our comprehensive offerings is planned to allow SAP S4 HANA customers to build hybrid scenarios between SAP S4 HANA and cloud solutions from SAP, including those from success factors and Ariba, as well as integration with SAP hybrid marketing. This way, customers can leverage the cloud at their own pace based on their needs while keeping all the integration and business benefits of their existing SAP solutions. In addition, SAP S4 HANA is designed to easily connect with the global business networks, such as, for example, the Ariba network and Conquer. We go to next question. Does SAP provide pre-packaged integration for SAP S4 HANA to the existing cloud solutions from SAP? Yes, the service is provided as SAP rapid deployment solutions with S4 HANA and will be delivered with pre-packaged integration. Next question. Is SAP S4 HANA multi-tenant? SAP S4 HANA gives customers the option to leverage the HANA multi-tenancy functionality as provided by SAP HANA platform. Next question. Can customers run different SAP S4 HANA editions in parallel to their enterprise architecture? Yes, SAP S4 HANA editions are integrated and run mostly on the same data semantic. Now, next question. How does SAP HANA cloud platform relate to SAP S4 HANA? In the context of SAP S4 HANA, SAP HANA Cloud Platform serves as an extension platform and agility layer. It is possible to build specific capabilities extending the scope of SAP S4 HANA by either integrating non-SAP functions or building our own capabilities. The Cloud Platform not only serves as the development platform, but also as the runtime foundation for the developed solutions. The extensions built on the Cloud Platform can run against both cloud and on-premise deployments of SAP S4 HANA. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ डज एस एपी हना एंटरप्रेज क्लाउड सर्विस रिलेट टू एस एपी एस फोर हना For SAP S4 HANA managed cloud edition, we are leveraging the same infrastructure as a service, data centers, and security qualities. Though the life cycle management is different, innovation updates for the cloud editions are planned on the quarterly basis to be consumed by customer and managed by SAP. Next question. What is the benefit to data model for using an in-memory platform? SAP S4 HANA delivers high-volume trans transaction processing and high-volume real-time analytical processes based on the unified data model without redundant data layers typically required by traditional RDBMS-based systems. This reduces TCO while providing new opportunities to increase the business value from existing investments. Examples for redundant data layers are custom built layers based on database tuning efforts such as secondary indexes or application built in performance accelerators such as aggregate tables or multiple general ledger versions for different managerial reporting needs. The massive implications of data model. The massive implications of data model and the data processing layers enable business and technological innovations on a broad scale across all lines of business and industry solutions. The new application architecture simplifies system landscape architectures and accelerates cloud deployment on an economical scale. We go to the next question. Do SAP S4 HANA and SAP Business Suite share the same data semantic? With SAP S4 HANA, SAP has developed a new product that leverages both basic data structures and elements of the SAP business suite for maximum compatibility, non-disruptive migration and hybrid scenarios. However, SAP S4 HANA provides new business functionality on top of these data structures natively built on the SAP HANA platform and designed with the SAP Fiori UX principles. SAP business suite on-premise customers on the latest enhancement package can easily move to this new product simply by migrating to the SAP HANA database and applying the exchange innovation to their current SAP business suit environment. Next question. What is the fundamental difference between old SAP business suit code line and new SAP S4 HANA product code line? The development approach of SAP S4 HANA is to eliminate our artifacts that have been introduced as performance workarounds for classical row-based RDBMS. These are aggregates and programmed indexes that contained no semantic value and only provided fast access to sums and data. On the downside, these created interconnections in the application and complexity in how to lock the system to avoid conflicting updates in aggregates. Moreover, significant code had to be developed for lengthy ETL scenarios and incurring data preparation and exception management routines caused by latency. This portion of the code did not carry business semantic in itself, but served as performance proliferation in business processes. With SAP S4 HANA, these different types of
intonation. This portion of code did not carry business semantic in itself, but served as performance proliferation in business processes. With SAP S4 HANA, these different types of workaround on restrictions based on technical limitations are no longer necessary as the latest information and the time travel from the column store can be accessed instantaneously across all inserts and dev updates and therefore eliminates the need for any overhead for the index and aggregates. Next question. What is the typical journey for an existing SAP business soup customer? Moving to SAP S4 HANA for a typical existing SAP ERP 6.0 customer will require a move to the latest enhancement package followed by database migration from any DB to SAP HANA combined with the deployment of, of the exchange innovation. From an execution perspective, these steps can be executed in a sequence as a combined step. Moving to S SAP S4 HANA for an existing SAP business suit powered by SAP HANA customer is even faster as only deployment of the exchange innovation is required. Both journeys are well proven in the market with several hundred of live SAP business suit powered by SAP HANA customers as well as SAP simple finance live customers. We'll go to next question. How can SAP partners support the move of a customer to SAP S4 HANA? SAP has an established partner ecosystem that is ready to resell and services SAP S4 HANA for our joint existing and new customers to implement future innovations. More than 50% of the SAP business suit powered by SAP HANA projects were managed by partners. Partners and SAP will support customers in their journey with the predefined migration and system. system conversion in the cloud and deployment packages for quicker time to value. Companies of all sizes will benefit from the high quality service and reseller capabilities our partners provide. Next question. What happens to existing legacy interfaces if a customer moves to SAP S4 HANA? SAP S4 HANA on-premise edition currently supports existing published legacy interfaces. Next question. How does SAP S4 HANA relate to and coexist with the existing SAP landscapes? A single system can always only be on SAP S4 HANA or on the traditional SAP business suits. However, customers can decide to move separate installations within their landscape individually to SAP S4 HANA and do not have to do Big Bang for their whole system landscape and thus run in a mixed environment as SAP S4 HANA and SAP Business Suite are using semantically consistent data structures. A move to SAP S4 HANA is non-disruptive. Next question. Can a customer choose to run the traditional SAP user interface and custom screens or is SAP Fiori mandatory? All SAP S4 HANA innovations are intended to be delivered with SAP Fiori UX providing the same experience on all devices. However, a customer using SAP S4 HANA is planned to install, is planned to still be able to consume the traditional user interfaces. Next question. Are success factors Ariba, Conquer, SAP Hybris, Marketing, and other cloud solutions from SAP included in the SAP S4 HANA product license? SAP S4 HANA is planned to integrate with our existing cloud portfolio offerings. These offerings remain offered under separate license or subscription. Next question. We 
little customers that have licensed SAP accounting powered by SAP HANA get a credit. Yes, all customers that already purchased a SAP accounting powered by SAP HANA license will get a corresponding credit for the upcoming purchases. Next question. How does SAP S4 HANA relate to S Innovations? S Innovations was the internal project's name of our development program and will not be used anymore. Next question. How does SAP S4 HANA relate to SAP Business by Design and SAP Business One? SAP Business by Design remains a dedicated end-to-end -end cloud ERP application for mid-sized companies that want to run their entire businesses on single cloud application. SAP Business One remains a dedicated ERP platform for small businesses in all industries. Next question. Can an SAP HANA one back backup be restored into an on-premise instance of S SAP HANA? Answer. Yes, as long as SAP HANA one and SAP HANA on-premise licenses are valid and SAP HANA versions match, backup data can be transferred. Next question. What are the business benefits of SAP Collections Insight? The SAP Collections Insight web and mobile apps give you access to rich dynamic account profiles and enable real-time analysis of payments and payment trends across years of data. With the Collections Insight, sales and service teams can support collections activities with access to dashboards and collaborative tools to help manage track, quickly resolve collections issue, and get paid on outstanding accounts faster. Next question. How is the solution delivered? SAP Collections Insight is delivered as mobile and web applications powered by SAP HANA, letting our customers access the power of SAP HANA in an easy to consume model. This leads to radical reductions in capital expenditure and quicker innovation cycles. Next question. Describe SAP HANA database architecture in brief. The, the SAP HANA database is developed in C++ and runs on SUCE Linux, Linux Enterprise Server. SAP HANA database consists of multiple servers and the most important component is the index server. SAP HANA database contains consists of index server, name server, statistic server, preprocessor server, and access engine. Next question. So is SAP making or selling the software or the hardware? SAP has partnered with leading hardware vendors to sell SAP certified hardware for HANA. SAP is selling licenses and related services for the SAP HANA products, which includes the SAP HANA database, SAP HANA studio, and other softwares to load data in the database. Next question. Mention what is the role of transaction manager and session. The transaction manager coordinates database transactions and keeps a record of running and closed transactions. When transaction is rolled back or committed, the transaction manager notifies the involved storage engines about the event so they can run necessary actions. Next question. Explain how SQL statement is processed. In the HANA database, each SQL statement is implemented in the reference of the transaction. A new session is allotted to a new transaction. Next question. 
there is an analytic view which has calculated column defined which engine will be used when calling this view by default analytic view is executed in olap engine but this changes when the analytic view has a calculated to column if an analytic view has a calculated column then internally it is treated as calculation view and executed in calculation engine next question what is the text table in sap what is the purpose of creating a test table table a is the text table of table b if the key of the a comprises the key of the b and an additional language key field table a may therefore contain explanatory text in several languages for each key entry of b the purpose i will explain text join text join is used to fetch description based on the user session language once we implement the text join in sap hana it automatically finds out the user's language and gives a description in that language next question can we call an analytic view or calculation view inside another calculation view yes we can call all the views attribute analytic and calculation view inside a calculation view so there is some note here i will explain that notes calculation views are composite views and can be used to combine other views it can consume other analytical attributes other calculation views and tables it can perform complex calculations not possible with other views next question explain what is schema mapping schema mapping is done when the physical schema in the target system is not the same as physical schema in the source system next question what is the difference between attribute and measure first of all columns of modeling view can be classified into attribute or measure first i will explain attributes non measurable descriptive data such as customer id city and country they come under attributes what is measure i will explain quantifiable data such as revenue quantity sold and counters come under measure next question what is the profit per product xyz for country usa the sales and profit columns are numeric values these columns are measurable and can be aggregated while the columns product customer name year and country are descriptive and non measurable here product customer name year and country are attributes while sales and profits are measures now last question for this video what is a private attribute in hana private attributes are are the attributes used inside modeling views and cannot be used outside the view these are used in modeling view to customize the behavior of an attributes for only that view i will deal remaining question and answers in my next videos thank you for listening to my course